is French, Aurélie Grosolo. And her whistle signals the start, and Alain Kelter goes long for the USA. It's a swirly old breeze. So, first big set piece for England. A scrum that was dominant in the Six Nations. Drives forward here, wins the penalty. Hunt goes on her own, scores. Taken less than four minutes to puncture the USA's defence. And it's the scrum half, Mohunt. To play Ortiz away to Gabby Cantona, intercepted. This is going to be a try. Very few stop Jess Breach when they give her an inch, give her a metre, give her several metres, and it's a procession. And England had to. It was a perfect coach from Breach. America, until that point, had actually nailed their set piece. It was a great first carry, but she absolutely read it to a T. And look at that running style. I always wish I looked that good when I ran with the ball. In this defensive setup for the USA. Taken again at the back by Oldcroft, and now barking out the instructions. Cocaine. Has it under her arm, driving through, unstoppable scoring. Finally, 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 they've had a bit of practice over the last 10 minutes. But England do get some fortune from a driven lineup, and they have a third try. Bottoman played up for O'Donnell. Hunt has Oldcroft up in support, finds a nice line, and again, Hunt can keep it going. More red shirts than blue shirts, and the significant one worn by Claudia McDonald. And that's a try that'll mean a load. Promising opportunity, the States have manufactured in a while, and Nick James trucks it up. Oh, that's been turned over, however. And here goes Jess Breach, and the Jess Express in full steam. Five tries to the good. Harrison. And again, Harrison. This is better from England. A little bit more pace on the recycling. Creating the space for McDonald. Weaving. Scoring. All those days when she wondered if she'd ever play this glorious sport ever again. And now once again, she's scoring England tries. Claudia McDonald. Distribution has been superb. She's moved the ball away. Really good, good 50 minutes from her. Allcroft. Now, what of England in their favourite position? This is the position that they dream about at night, using all that strength and scoring. It's a steamroller when it gets going. And Cocaine looks like she has another. Yeah, not, a, not produced too bad of rugby players, have they? Right now, one by Taufu. USA quickly into position. Heavy Ashenbrooker amongst them. Had to wait until her 30s to get a crack at Test Rugby, but here she is, pushing for all she's worth now. And this is Kauter, who's looked the USA's most dangerous player, ball in hand, and it took a double tackle to stop her. Rogers! much they will enjoy that whitewashed by England in the autumn second best for much of this contest but the stars and stripes on the ball Waters Zachary flings it across Hope Rogers they've got players free on the right hand side one of them is Detivore oh, and she knew she wasn't going to make it and Okay, Aurelie, you see these angles. I think that's it. I'm, I'm just in front of you, so please. For can me, you that's another yellow card for England. See again. So, potentially I am a, a decision penalty try. for me is very clear. It's deliberate knock-on. 
it's a yellow card and penalty try. Yes, I totally agree. It's a 22 red. Are you agree? It's 22 two. red. 22. Yeah. Captain. It is a deliberate knock-on. The 22 player is the last player, so it's penalty try and yellow card. 22. Yeah, and we're going to end the game with 13, pretty much. Oh, dear me. Uh, these are high emotions for Helen Rowland. She knows what's on the line on days like today, and... Gallagher has it. Gallagher, the one who had what she thought was a try, chalked off for obstruction at the line-out. And now she gives it away, and... Infante as England stretch and press and score and Ellie Cole down with the bouncing ball and finally it's been a while but English smiles Listen to the noise from the crowd they've really got in behind England that's classy stuff Uses the wind and England will have one last opportunity should they want it with Harrison Harrison decides it's time to um, pack her bags England will do that. They will up sticks and head up the M5 for their final warm-up match against Wales at Ashton Gate in Bristol a week on Wednesday. And uh, in their baggage, they will take with them 50 points plus. They'll take one or two questions as well. It's the nature of the standards that England set these days that they can score over 50 points they can score eight tries but there'll still be plenty for them to think that they can work on between now and a week on wednesday and particularly now and the big world cup kickoff next month final score here at sandy park england 52 the usa 14.